Now what we're going to do is after we have created our region of interest, what we're going to do is find stripes inside of here. So I've got my IP tool stripe collection, which is multiple points. I'm going to drag that into here, and you can see I've got a region of interest. I don't want that region of interest. I want this region of interest. So I open up this guy, and I hit edit. And in my inputs, I've got a region of interest right here. All I'm going to do is take this guy and drop it in. Now I'm using the region of interest from this step into here. And the parameters, I can use none of it. I can show the RI. I'm going to use ROI. Um, that's that's the, the setting you want. In this case, we've got uh, a number of different settings. Because there's a stripe, you're going to have a, um, a first edge and a second edge. So the first time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, make, make these guys first. I don't care which. I know, uh, for example, that because I'm going to be moving from white to dark, I can put from light to dark. And then the second one would be from dark to light across there. The way I can separate these two is render style one. I'm going to make that green close, render style two, which is the second piece. I'm going to make that yellow. Okay. So now we know which one is which. Okay. So now if I run this guy, what I've got here is that you can see I've got a bunch of different points. And I put a magnifying piece on here, and I'll close this guy down so you can see. But as I move this guy around, I've got a bunch of different points on here that are jumping around. Doesn't look like we got a very good, um, you know, the green lines look okay, but the other ones don't. Turn my magnifying off. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my smoothing down, and I'm going to turn my ROI width down. In fact, I'm going to turn it up so you can see what that means. So I'm going to turn show workings. If I hit apply and I hit run, what you're going to see is this guy's running along and it's jumping. It's five wide and it's jumping and taking a bunch of pieces. In that case, it worked a little better because we are jumping over. You can see this guy got a point up here, which we don't want. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make my width one, and I'm going to make my contrast higher. So that means that I've got to go from a white to a black piece. And I'm going to turn my leniency up a little bit. And if I hit run, you can see I'm doing this guy. And bang, now you've got what I would consider to be the points that you're going to want. And this is how we can then take these points and we can get the min, the max, distance between the points, the mean. And typically this is what we would use for bead inspection. Um, I'm going to use these tools next to uh, locate the bead, check for thickness or breaks, and then I'm going to use the same tool to expect for an out of position bead.